We are here with Texas A&M Commerce head coach David Bailiff. And the first question I have is, you're going into your first season in the Southland after being extremely successful at the D2 level. What are the keys to making sure that success transfers over as you guys move to the D1 level? You know what's, what's really crazy, Zach? We don't know. <laughs> you know, uh, I know we're excited. I know we have high anxiety. I know we're a good Lone Star Conference football team. I don't know where we are in the Southland. So, you know, coming in this first year, we want to be competitive. Uh, we want to be known as a hard-working, smart football team that doesn't beat himself. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, I'm really excited. We play Sam Houston uh, early, so we know where we kind of stack up at the FCS level. Um, but I can tell you the excitement's there, and so is the anxiety. And, you know, some, some FCS fans may not be familiar with your program. If you had to describe Texas a and Commerce's brand of football to somebody, how would you describe it? Yeah, we're a running, thundering, physical defense and, and offense. You know, every year you adapt your offense a little bit to what you can attract regionally. But we're a spread, but we can do it all. We can huddle, we can go no huddle. We can fling it or we can go to a four minute grind. I'm one of those old school guys, I think, that you got to play complimentary football and uh, run the football, give the defense a little rest every now and then. Uh, but we have great young men on the football team. And, uh, and I mean great. Life's too short to coach turds. We got good dudes. And, uh, you know, we, we're so excited about this coming season and just seeing where we are because we don't know, you know. You know, throughout spring practice, there's always standout players. You guys return a lot of talent, but also have some new guys that have been stepping up. Who are some names that we should watch out for going into this season? Well, our, our linebacker, uh, D. Walt this year, he's, he's a great player. We have a great defensive line. Celestine Haba, Ben Hutch, Bryson Stewart uh, in the defensive line. And a quarterback, we're still having, you know, we haven't declared a starter yet, but we've got some talent there. Uh, we got Jagger LaRue transferred in from Ohio State, uh, who was at the end a little ahead, but we have Javi Mobley, you know, we got four, Zadok Dinkelman. We have four really competitive, highly quarterbacks. So, and, uh, we have Reggie Branch, another running back, transferred in from Incarnate Word. Uh, so I think our biggest rebuilding job is going to be in the offensive line. We graduated four starters, and one of them went to the Cowboys. Uh, so those are big shoes to fill. And, you know, co coaching has changed a lot over these past few years with the emergence of the transfer portal, NIL, things like that. How do you balance your high school recruiting with the transfer portal over these next few seasons? You know, one of the things that we try to do is, I, I mean this from the bottom of my heart, I don't think if you go heavy portal, you can have a culture in your locker room. I'm into culture. you got to win the locker room first. We pick and choose on, on the, the portal. Uh, most of them are Texas kids that want to come back home. Uh, because the Texas high school coaches are so important uh, to you. I mean, they're the lifeblood. Of, they're deciding who's winning and who's not. And uh, I think you just can't load up on those portal kids because it, it really uh, offends a lot of the high school coaches, you know. And, but there's times you, you have to because you got to have, especially when you get somebody robbed, you know, yeah. you got to go find somebody to fill their shoes. Absolutely. And the final question, what are you what are you hoping to achieve this season? First season in the Southland, first season at the FCS. What's the message? What's the goals in the locker room that you've been preaching to the guys this summer? Well, you know, one of the things, as I told you, we just won't be competitive. You know, we don't know and you don't want to set people up for failure, you know, sit here and say we were going to be undefeated this year, you know, so you got to be honest with them. You got to be transparent. They're as excited as I am, you know, they're as unknown to them as it is to me, you know, so let's just be competitive and let's see, let's build from this year and try to build a championship football team. Hey, that sounds great, Coach. Thank you for joining us and guys, stay tuned for more content for Southland Media Day. Thank you.